Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of a response to a video that was posted by Bishy80 a few days ago and it was about what makeup she was going to be wearing in summer this year, spring summer. Um, for me, this spring summer is going to be all about blusher and lips because I'm sort of fancy a change from focusing on my eyes all the time. Um, so I just thought I would share with you some of the recent things I bought um, from NARS and MAC, um, most of which are blushes that I'm going to be using to create the, the spring summer look that I've got in mind. Basically I'm going to go for sort of quite bright cheeks but really well blended with a very neutral face, a little bit of bronzer, neutral lips and neutral eyes or quite bright uh, lip colour. I'm thinking about going for the fuchsias and more violet colours than, um, than neutrals. Um, so I'm trying to get a bit more adventurous with my lips as well. So the first product I thought I'd share with you is the bronzer. I finally bought NARS Laguna. I'm actually wearing this today. You can't really see it because it's that subtle. It's like the best bronzer I've ever used. It's impossible to go overboard. I heard a lot of good things about this and they're all true. So highly recommend this one. Um next a few things from MAC. First of all the the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the redhead one. I've used this before on one of the videos. This was the, the product I used for my cheeks on the first video I did about the everyday makeup that I use. And I used the two paler stripes as a highlighter and I used the two darker stripes as a blush and it, it looked really nice. It's not too shimmery, not too sparkly, but it's just got a nice glow about it that I think looks great in summer. Next one, this is a repurchase. This is this is called Style. Um, you can't see it very well on camera here, but this is a this is a beauty blush with a kind of a golden sheer shimmer over the top of it. You can't even see it on my hand either. Um, that looks fantastic with a, with a slight tan or even if you pay a light name you don't tan very well. This is just a lovely colour. I bought this was one of the first brushes I ever bought from MAC and I used it up completely and had to rebuy it. So there you go. <coughs> also a cream colour base. This is called Improper Copper. And again, I do the same as what Bishy80 uh, says, to just warm it up with your hands and use the back of your hand as a palette. And it's just all the copper colour. You can either use this underneath a blush to intensify it, you can use it as a highlighter, or you can use it as a blush on its own. It's quite multi-purpose. Uh, moving on to NARS now, these are the loud blushes that I've purchased. First one is called... Tower Chaos, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's this colour. It's not picking up very well. There you go. It's kind of a coral colour with a with a gold and silver reflex running through it. The thing with NARS brushes is they stay on incredibly well. Given lots of powders, they will last all day. Better than MAC, sorry to say, but they do last better than MAC. Next one, oh this is gorgeous, this one's called Angelica and it's, this, this is what I'm actually wearing today. The way I've made this very subtle is to use a 188 brush which I've just washed so I can't show you but it's the Skunk Brush from MAC and it's um it's kind of a a hot baby pink with reflex running through it. Um, no sparkle, not much sparkle on the cheeks, just a nice subtle sort of wash of colour. Not actually picking up very well on the camera, but it looks quite nice in real life. That's gorgeous. <clears throat> Next one, this is a little bit of more of a wintery blush, but I think I can get away with it. This one's called Sin. Famous one. And it's a plum, a, pl a pinky plum colour with reflex going through it. As you can guess, I quite like my shimmery look. The loudest blush out of both, this is a cream blush and I'm going to have to be really careful how I use this. This is called Cactus Flower and it's it's like a poppy red colour with gold shimmer 
and run it through it and it is just it's just such a gorgeous colour. Again, this is one I'm gonna to have to use with a 188 brush to just wash it out and make it supple. Um <coughs> but I love it. And a great product I also thought I'd talk about is one from Nars where if you do go for loud brushes and you sort of suddenly realise hang on I've overdone it here and you want to tone it down is Nico. This this actually does come under the blush category in Nars. But as you can see, it's not a blusher. It's more of a highlighter, but it's not as subtle. It's not as good at highlighting as because it's quite actually quite close to my skin tone, so I can't use this as a highlighter. I use Albatross, which is highly recommended. I use this to tone down blusher, and it's also nice to use for setting foundations on a nice on a setting liquid foundations of a nice time because it's got a very very sharp fine sheen to it so it adds a little bit of a glow to your face um there's not really much else i can say about this but i do it's it's, it's really good i bought it after my makeover i had a makeover at nars recently and this was used by the makeup artist i didn't think it looked much in the pan and it doesn't to be fair you either love it or hate it but i would recommend having something like this to tone your blushes down if you go too too overboard if like me you're going for a blush a lot this year um and that's about it um so i hope you enjoyed this little haul video if you've got any questions about any of the products or you want me to do any looks that i've, I've, I've used any of the products in or any different demonstrations of what any of the blushes look like just let me know and i will do that um my eyes are looking particularly loud on camera but they're actually quite neutral in real life i've used a tiny little bit of chrome and I've used really neutral colours everywhere else to just wash it out with just to brighten the face up a little bit. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.